I miss New Leaf. Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm so sorry. I'm not British. Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm so here. And today, I will be talking about the 10 most wanted features from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, for those who do not know, Animal Crossing New Leaf was the Animal Crossing game on the 3DS, which is actually the last mainline game for the series. And from New Leaf to New Horizons, there's a lot of missing features that we don't have. So today, we're going over the top 10 most wanted. But guys, before we do get into that, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I post Animal Crossing content every single day and keep you guys updated with everything in the community. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get right into it. Now the first feature that I want to talk about that we kind of do want in, in New Horizons is more fruit, specifically tropical fruit. So in New Leaf at Tormor Island, you could see a lot of tropical fruit. There were bananas, coconuts, durians, lemons, lychees, mangoes, and persimmons. Those were a lot of tropical fruit. Now in New Horizons, we only have apples, oranges, peaches, pears, and cherries. Those are our only five. That's, we could get six, seven more, seven more fruits to the game if we had these, these tropical fruits. I think that they look amazing, especially on our islands, because honestly, I have to say, I'm very, very used to just seeing apples and cherry stuff. I think if we saw these new fruits, it'd be amazing. Although, as I mentioned, they were on Tordemore Island, so I don't see these coming until Tordemore Island. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I think on that. Tordemore Island will definitely get all those fruits, but the question of the matter is, when do we get Tordemore Island? Hopefully next summer, hopefully this spring, one of those two. But uh, yeah, more fruits would definitely be amazing to add to the game. Give it to me. Now, as for our second most wanted feature to be added to Animal Crossing New Horizons, it is gyroids. Now, gyroids are little moving clay figures found in Animal Crossing New Leaf. After a rainy day, you could dig them up and you could put them in your house. And I believe that they would sing along to the songs. I like them a lot. Um, I think that, that, that they'll come with Brewster because Brewster, um, I, I didn't play a lot of City Folk, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Brewster... He was either, I think he was like a big fan of gyroids or he gave you gyroids. I'm not too sure. But um, I think that'd be amazing if they came with Brewster. I would love that. I I was collecting gyroids actually yesterday in uh, New Leaf. I was playing and um, I, I had so many in my house. I love them and it made me kind of want them back in New Horizons like even more than I, than I already do. It made, me, it made me want them back so badly. So gyroids would be amazing. I My only thing is like, it, it'd be kind of hard to add them to the game because it's like, okay, why can I now get gyroids, but I couldn't get them before? Because they tend to be like underground. Unless Brewster gives them to you, they're going to be underground. So it'll be kind of weird. Like, oh, now I can dig them up, but I couldn't do it a year ago. Like, it's it's kind of weird. So I would think that Brewster has to give them to you to make it more, you know, normal. But that's just what I think. Now, as for our third most wanted feature from Animal Crossing New Leaf, we have Villager House Visits. So for those New Horizons players, let me explain this. So... In Animal Crossing New Leaf, villagers could actually come and ask to visit your house and just, you know, take a tour, just chill, vibe, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you you just be, like, out and about, and they would actually set a set time for, um, for them to come. So, you would tell them, like, okay, so let's say 2.15 p.m. At 2.15 p.m. sharp, you would have to be in your house, and then they would just walk in, which is, I mean, obviously fine. I just, like, you had, it was fun. It, it was, like, a nice little hangout arrangement, and we don't have that in New Horizons. Um... But I believe, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. I know I saw it somewhere. There's like a data mine. This is data mine, I think. It's something like a villager interaction. If I, if, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. If I can't, then I I can't. But I, sw I, I saw it somewhere. I saw this somewhere. That it was data mine, villager interaction. So hopefully we can see it come to the game. Hopefully soon. This is obviously not like a seasonal thing. So it could be in any update now, even the next update. Who knows? But hopefully... We get this soon because it was honestly a lot of fun so hopefully and now our fourth most wanted feature from new leaf is club lol and dr shrunk so for those who do not know club lol was a little club in animal crossing new leaf that was run by dr shrunk and you could go in there and learn reactions from shrunk although with us learning all the reactions already what is there to do i don't know but i think that it's not even like for the reactions i think it's more so for the hangout for the for the experience for the activity because that was also a club as well you know kk sider would would perform in there and put on a show dj kk would do it put on a show i think it's more for the hangout i want the more you know experience the yeah the experience is probably like you know what i want out of that 
I don't need the reactions. I just want to go somewhere to have fun in New Leaf. I mean, in, in New Horizons. And we don't really have that. We don't have some place to go have fun. So Club LOL will be amazing. Now, our fifth most wanted feature from New Leaf is me Mask. So Harriet used to be in the game. Harriet was a poodle that would do your hair. And, and apart from hairstyles, you could actually get a me Mask, which was just what it is. It's a mask that you wear of your me. Now... You couldn't wear glasses over it. You couldn't wear, you know, facial accessories over it, uh, or also it would come off. But I think it was actually very unique. I, I liked it a lot. I, I think I actually have one on in my city folk town. Me masks were amazing. I, I don't know where these went. But my, my only thing is like Harriet's not even in the game, so it'd be kind of hard to see these actually come to the game. But maybe maybe like if they add just, just like added in with the mirror because it wouldn't be hard for them to do like they they just add an update and be like hey you can do a me mask through the mirror now like that wouldn't be hard but but yeah i think that'd be cool that would be now our sixth most wanted feature from animal crossing new leaf is the happy home showcase now the happy home showcase was run by digby and what you could do there is with the 3ds or the ds or 2ds whatever it may have been you could actually street pass other people now street pass was a feature where you could walk by someone in real life and if you both had 3ds's you would street pass now if the other person that you street pass with which is which is like a, a connection it's like you, you know your, your 3ds is like kind of connect in a way um if they had animal crossing you could go in the happy home showcase and see the other player's house that you that you walked by in real life you could see their house in, in animal crossing if uh they had animal crossing new leaf so that was so it was honestly so cool it was i think it's probably like one of the most underrated features like you don't even know the person you just walk by them in real life next thing you know you can see their house in new, in new leaf and and it would also give digby a reason to come back to the game so the switch doesn't have street pass so it'd be kind of hard to do but hopefully it's something similar to that and <sighs> i love that feature <laughs> now the seventh most wanted feature from animal crossing new leaf to new horizons is town ordinances so so you were the mayor in animal crossing new leaf and you could say which kind of you know style of town do you want so for example uh you could have a beautiful town ordinance which is where you say that you know i want a beautiful town and then there's not as many weeds growing flowers don't wilt things like that and then or you could have a early bird town where villagers get up early the shops open way earlier uh everything you know it's it's all kind of positioned to your early bird lifestyle it kind of plays along with you you know night owl if you're a night owl and can only play after work or after school uh i think that the night owl is a good option stores open later but stay open longer things like that you know so that's honestly probably one of the bigger things because it adjusts to your lifestyle and i really like that now some don't i mean some are like you know some are the money like the money one which like just gives you more money in the game but like the early bird and the night owl i think that those are good to fit in with like you know people's schedules with the set store hours every single day it's a little bit hard for those who cannot play until can't play until 11 p.m because they were busy doing homework or something you know i think probably with the upgraded resident services we could see it that'd be amazing but we'll see now the eighth most wanted feature that should come to animal crossing new horizons from new leaf is a nooks cranny upgrade now we've been on the same nooks cranny upgrade ever since last year it's been over a year with the same nooks cranny Gracie is still yet to, to come to the game. Gracie was a fashion designer, the giraffe. She still has yet to come to the game. I think it'd be amazing to get a Nook's Cranny upgrade with Gracie along. That's perfect, and that's a good excuse to have a new upgrade for it. In New Leaf, I believe that we had five shop upgrades, or, or five different shops for Nook's Cranny. We only have two as of right now. So I think an upgrade is definitely going to happen soon, whether that be next update, because once again, that is not a seasonal thing. So like an upgrade will not have to come, you know, in the spring. It can come at any time in the year. So it's possible for next update, but we have to wait and see. Now the ninth most wanted feature to come to Animal Crossing New Horizons from New Leaf is Tortimer Island. Now Tortimer Island, like like I was saying earlier about the uh, more fruit, that Tortimer Island, you, you could go over there and catch fish, play mini games, catch bugs, tours, redeem prizes, so many things so many things that, that you could do over there and with the lack of mini games in new horizons and lack of things to do on online play i think that it would kind of spice things up and get people to play back into the game with their friends even and go to and go to the island and have some fun it would definitely be some like endless kind of fun because you know there's mini games like i was saying 
like that's at least like two hours of fun three hours of fun that's that's a lot of fun and it would definitely drag people back in the game and and new leaf that is my main money maker like that, that that's like my easiest way to make bells it, it can be kind of hard to make bells in new horizons so i think Jordan island like i would come back with like 300,000 bells after like an hour like it was it was amazing it was great so hopefully we see this return and yeah Tortimer island captain Tortimer, please come back guys i need you and then the most wanted we all know where this is going the most wanted feature that everybody wants including me including you including doug bowser but uh it's not happening or sorry it's not, it's not happened already brewster i mean who who could have saw that coming i didn't see that coming at all Brewster, Brewster, Brewster. I don't want to go into depth because I do it every single video, but I'll give you guys a quick rundown. Brewster owned a coffee shop. This is the guy. This is the pigeon that gave out the gyroids I was talking about earlier. Brewster worked in the coffee shop called The Roost, and he would give you coffee. I mean, it's a coffee shop. I mean, you know, you know he, he obviously would. Or you, you could also work for him part-time and give NPCs and villagers a cup of coffee as well. So yeah, you could work for him, and he'd pay you back in coffee beans and things like that. But Brewster was such a loved character, and the Aroos was such a, was such a chill place. Now, Brewster was data mined recently. He was data mined. I have a video on that actually. It is in the top right I card. You can go check it out up there. But yeah, Brewster, we need him back. He was just a very loved character. Now, Tournament Island, I feel like, is what will keep you having the most fun. But Brewster, like, just like you know, imagine like coming home after school after work unwinding with brewster like it, it, it doesn't really get better than that honestly but uh but yeah that's just what i think let me know down in the comments what feature you guys want most in new leaf whether it was on this list or not on this list i'd love to hear what you guys think and subscribe if you're new i post animal crossing content every single day and keep you guys updated with everything in the community also fun videos and videos like this you know top 10 things that were missing things like that and also like the video if you guys did enjoy and yeah i love you guys all thank you guys so, so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video or live stream Peace.